All right, Tim Stanley, Blackout Easy, doing another segment of RV with Tim. I'm here in my RV, and uh, the RV has a barn-type sliding door, and it's come off the hinges, so, or the little clamp up there, and that has happened before, and I just simply took it to the dealer, get that fixed and some other things, but it's no need to take it to the dealer. I kind of looked up here, and see it's got a little latch that hooks on the little slider piece, uh, but you gotta take this header off, so, that's what we're gonna do today. It's one, two, three screws that take this header off, and then once we get that header off, we should be able to easily connect that to the slider. The door slider came off, and then we should be able to have this fixed, all right? So let's get started. So we're just gonna kinda unloosen that a little bit. So it slides right here on the little mechanism right there and you see where it came off right there on that one. So I'm trying to see how this thing works. Oh yeah, it just slides like a, a little lock. Okay, so now we have the header off and get up close and let you see what happened, okay? So uh, this uh, pin right here kind of slides in and locks in and this little gadget comes around and locks it in. So that's what happened, it came out. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna slide this door and we're gonna put all that back in place, okay? You see how it kind of fits in there and then you lock it in place. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that, all right? So basically what I did was I slid that pin up into that little coupling right there, almost like it looked like a fifth wheel type connection and then I'm gonna spin this pin around. All right, then I'm gonna spin this, and that that that'll lock it in place. And that's that's so. Let me go ahead and do that. Okay, I see some of the problem. This latch is really loose. I'm gonna bend it down a little bit to make it latch a little more aggressively because it keeps coming loose on this door. So I bent that latch. I'm looking at the other latch down there on the other side of the door, and it fits real snug where this one fits a little loose. So I just bent it a little bit to make it kind of grasp a little better. Now, now do it. Okay, so I bent that uh, tab a little bit. So now it's resting in there a little tighter, like the one down on that side. That has never fallen off, always on this side. So when I put it in place, it was fitting around that collar real loose. So I bent it a little bit to make it work a little better. Fit it real snug so it won't bop, jump out. So. There you have it. So now the door is working again. So I'm going to put the header on. Okay, while I have it down, I'm just going to tighten these screws up a little bit up here. Make sure it's the header is nice and tight, which it is. I'm trying to match it up right there in the hole. So I got this out just a little bit. So I can easily locate that hole. So I'm going to make sure it's exactly right where it was. And I'm going to look up under there. That's going to help me out a little bit too. But I can get it under that trim work right there for it to get to the match up. And there we go. It's right in there. So. Bam. Got the first one in. So now that makes it easy to hold it. Now I got both the left and right side. I'm going to cinch this down all the way. Tighten this down all the way. There we have it. And back in place. Door working fine. So there we go. So it took me all about, if I wasn't shooting the video, it took me about 15, 20 minutes, but I was shooting the video. It took me longer. So um, there you go. So easy fix. I told you I took it to the dealer one time to have it done. and. Uh, just did it myself now I know what the issue was and I tightened the clamp up so it wouldn't pop out it kind of pops out real easy it's too loose so I kind of bent it down a little bit put a little more stress on it where it grabs around it so that's fixed the door and we should have had no problems with that
our van with Tim out. If you always like my content, be sure to subscribe so you get the latest uh, video content as it drops. So be sure to subscribe. And like I always say, our van with Tim out. See you on the other side.